Well, Brian, we just got out here. Quite a bit of boat traffic still. Even at, uh, it's almost 6 o'clock on Sunday. Still a lot of boat traffic. But, uh, yeah, we're out here. That's Longport Bridge right there, so we're gonna go right over there. I got some crabs right here. Some peeler crabs. And, uh, I don't know, we'll go drop them next to the pilings and see what happens. Getting a little bites, a little bites. Definitely tricky, one of the trickier fisheries here in New Jersey is uh, this kind of like bottom structure fishing with crabs. You get a lot of bites and it's hard to tell which bites are the fish you want and which bites are the, the little fish, the sea bass and the baby bergals and stuff like that. Uh, there's probably 10 species of fish down here on these pilings. and the majority of them are going to be small sea bass, small bergals. Uh, you'll also have tog, sheep's head, triggerfish, um, you know, flounder and stripers and weak fish will use this bridge pilings also. You know, the current break that this creates. Uh, there really should be a lot of fish down there. Oh. I don't know what that was. I don't think that was a fish, that was like a snag. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of different kinds of fish down there. And they all love crabs. So it's, um, it's, hard to, it's hard to know when to swing, when to let the fish just keep chewing. You know, it's really kind of an art form. The guys that go out here and they do really well, I mean, they, they have a lot of skills. Uh, there's certain times when you can come out here and do this and it'll just be lights out. You'll drop down, you'll get good bites, it'll be um, tog or triggerfish. Even, even sheep's head maybe, but I've never seen that. But yeah, certain, certain times of the year, you know, there's really good fishing on these pilings. And it's all pilings, like in all of New Jersey. You know, these deeper, deeper pilings, behind the inlets especially, are the ones you want to target. Just about every inlet in New Jersey has a bridge very close to it, if not in it. Um, intercoastal waterway, you know, there's dozens of bridges like this in New Jersey. And, uh, you know, at any given time, one or two of the bridges could be real good. Other bridges could be dead. And uh, it, it really takes a lot of time and a good network of fishermen, you know, you want to keep in touch with people who do this to kind of dial in on the bite. So, me, I don't know anyone who's in on this bite. You know, it's just me. I chose Longport Bridge today because, uh, you know, you can't fish off top of this bridge. I figure pressure is light on here. I mean, there's no one else fishing these pilings. So this was uh, the reason that I came here. You know, just for the fact that I'd probably have it all to myself. And the fact that it's right behind an inlet and the water's nice and deep here. There's something. That's something. Ooh, sea bass. Look at that sea bass. It's bigger, bigger than average, but not a keeper. Bad. It's a start. First one's always the hardest, that's what I say. The worst part about this is all these boats, all this boat traffic. There's a lot of wakes coming through, a lot of boat wake. I was hoping that by coming here on a Sunday afternoon, Boat traffic would be down a little bit, but... We got... A conch. What? What? Are you... 
Are you freaking... Are you, what? Is this serious right now? Is this serious? Really? I don't even know what to do right now. This is crazy. Like, this thing legitimately ate my crab. This is so ridiculous. Wow. <clears throat> Looking for some stripers here. At dusk, throwing a smack at Junior. Up along the sod banks. Water is pretty dirty. Wind is five to 10 miles an hour out of the east. Water temp feels around 70, which is cooler than it's been. And uh, I don't know. Got about uh, halfway through the outgoing here. We got like a little creek emptying in here. There should totally be a bass here. I guarantee there's a bass here. See how this creek is coming out of the sod bank? There's like this rip coming out. That's prime. And I'm trying to hit the back side of this current. You know, bass will sit here and ambush bait as it comes out of the creek. And I'm quite sure there's a bass in here. Quite sure. I've never fished this sod bank before. But, uh, you know, there's, there's spots on every sod bank that are going to be good in uh, a creek on an outgoing tide is one said spot. So I'm just kind of surprised I'm not getting anything here. Should totally get smacked. Sometimes you just know. Sometimes you just yeah. Yeah, son. Yeah, that was cool. It's been a long time since I caught a bass on a smack. It. I used to do this a lot. I haven't done it much the past few years. This is actually why I sold my old Hobie. Because I was sick of getting bass this size. Landing them in the Hobie is pain. Pain. But, it's also a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, come on, please. Please don't flip around. Just chill. Stay chill here. That's a solid bass. 24 inch or so. Dang, that really, really scared me. Seeing that bass come up and smack that top water. There it goes. That's cool right there. It's very cool. So this is the creek I just hit. Let's see if there's another one in there. Alright, so I'm paddling, paddling, covering this bank. Haven't got another bite. This looks like a little creek mouth here. And... Oh, yeah. Yup, that's a creek mouse. Yes, sir. There's a bass in that creek. That's a big creek. Yep. Okay. This one's not too big, but most of the stripers you're going to get in August of these sod banks, they're not going to be keepers. You know, they're not going to hit that 28 inch mark. But, uh,. What they don't have in size, they make up for in spunk. You know, these things are, these things are fun to catch. Alright, good deal. That's two bass here. Two bass. I hit these tides right. I didn't really think about the tides before I came down here. But uh, an outgoing tide is definitely the right tide to be doing this. Uh, I mean, the sheep's head weren't cooperating. There was really not much life on those pilings, so it only made sense to put a popper on and try to get some dusk action. So this creek mouth is awesome looking. It's uh, quite a significant creek and should be at least another bass in the area. Let's 
see. I'm gonna keep hitting this creek mouth. This whole little cove here is awesome. I mean, that creek mouth is perfect. We've got a point. Oh, just missed one. There. Came back for it. Ooh. Hey, son. Oh, yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. He's just swimming in circles. Swimming all in circles. Oh no. Get out of there. He's in my uh He was in my mirage drive. Another stride. Another stride. Oh. Uh, it's a good day when you find some creek mouths on an outgoing tide. Uh, it's 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 kind of kind of rough on your hands dealing with these small bass. That's why I like catching bigger bass. Man, I need some pliers. I definitely should have brought pliers. These things are getting all kinds of. I can kind of use these scissors as pliers in a way. Slightly better than getting my hands all messed up. There we go. All right, another little stripe. Cool, cool. And this is the lure. Smack it, Junior. In this in this cove now. Let's see if I can get one. All right, that's about it for this video. Um, I had come down to Longport Bridge mainly to fish at night, fish the lights under the bridge uh, for stripers and flounder, uh, which I tried. Uh, I fished about uh, three hours of darkness up until about 11, 11:30, and there was nothing going on. There was nothing in the lights, no bait. Um, the water was so dirty. I think that was the main the main problem. Uh, it's a decent area. I mean, any any bridge in the back bay can be good at any given time, but you really just got to time the conditions. And I didn't know the water was going to be so dirty this time down. So, yeah, that was my main my main issue. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Caught a few short bass. Uh, I'm going to be doing a bunch more fishing. August, September, October. Uh, we got about uh, ten weeks of really good fishing coming up. I love fishing in the fall. So uh, stay tuned because hopefully there's some good videos coming around in the future.